This week on Almost Heaven Outdoors. Presented by Elite Archery, the world's most shootable bow. Dear Lord, we come to you tonight with uh, nothing but thanks. Uh, we, we really appreciate the opportunity to spend this time together and build these friendships. We love you, we thank you, and we praise you, and we give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We have a dead turkey. Thank you, God. Is it that time again, Ted? It is that time of year again. Well, what are we waiting on? We're heading to South Carolina to Blackwater Hunting Services. So let's get our vortex scope sighted in because it's hunting season. Cannot wait. It's been way too long. Scopes are sighted in, getting ready to head to Almer, South Carolina with Blackwater Hunting Services, Big Velvet Bucks and Hogs. Cannot wait. So we just got here to the airport in Columbia, South Carolina, getting ready to go pick up Evan and then head to the spot. We are so excited. I don't know if we're going to have room for Evan. We may have to sit in the backpack. Chad looks a little confused today. Ready to go. <laughs> Just talked to Terry a little bit ago from uh, Blackwater Hunting Services. And they got a really good one this morning. And he said it looks like the uh, weather here is going to change a little bit. It's going to cool down. He's got a few stands that uh, um, got a few stands that we're going to be able to hunt because of the wind. And there's Mr. Fluffy. Morning. What's up, buddy? How, How are, are you? you? Good. This is Chad. Good. This is Devin. This is Amber. It's fault. We're late. It's all right. So we just got the Blackwater Hunting Services in South Carolina. We are so ready for this. Yeah, let's check our gun one more time just to make sure we're good. Did 
here's what we got. Ah, here's what I got. This segment of Almost Heaven Outdoors is brought to you by Umarex Air Guns. Scent Lock, proven deadly. Real world wildlife products, dare to compare. Vortex Optics. It's our first day in South Carolina, and um, it's August, it's August 23rd. Um, we're down here to try to shoot velvet bucks, and um, velvet bucks have been on my hit list for a long time. I've, I've wanted a velvet buck, I've tried it in Kentucky, just haven't been able to get it done. So, came down here, they have an early rifle season, which kind of puts the odds in your favor of getting a good, good velvet deer. We're with Blackwater Hunting Services. And um, and Terry Hire, man, he's got he's got a lot of property. He really knows how to put you on the deer. Um, this morning, they dropped me off to stand. By the time I got the camera gear set up, um, I started glassing, and and I could see a deer was already out um, out in the right away. Congratulations, Chad, on killing your very first velvet buck down in Ulmer, South Carolina, Blackwater Hunting Services. The cool thing about South Carolina is you can actually kill multiple bucks in the same set if you can. Somebody just let the deer out of the trailer for Chad because there are bucks everywhere. Shoot the one in the front, Chad. The one in the front. You're not gonna believe this. So I've got two South Carolina tags. I shot a buck this morning that I think is a pretty decent buck, and I thought I heard him go down. I'm sitting here, I've shot a couple interviews, just kind of killing time, waiting on time to leave. I look up, and another shooter buck walks into the shooting lane. He's about the same size as the first one I'd shot, maybe a little smaller. So I waited. I look up, and out steps a great big nine point, and then another buck, and then a non-typical buck. And then another buck. There's bucks all over out here. And I'll just tell you, that nine points a buck that I wouldn't have passed up in West Virginia. So, knowing I have another tag in my pocket, knowing that I'm gonna, you know, go home with two bucks, hopefully, let's pray. This shot looked good. I took the shot. Um, man, I am, I am pumped. Like, I went from having no velvet bucks to having all kinds of velvet bucks. So, I... Uh, this is uh, this could be the best buck I've ever I've ever killed velvet wise, and he's going to be one of my better deer ever. So what a morning Chad had. We get the message that he had two bucks down. So, in AHO fashion, we were so happy for Chad. We had to do the happy dance. We're so happy for Chad. 
You've seen us do the happy dance before. Chad, this is for you, buddy. <laughs> this segment of Almost Heaven Outdoors is brought to you by Anderson Manufacturing, home of the No Lube Rifle. Elite Archery, the world's most shootable bow. Lethal Products, always lethal. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to see what Ted, Kylie, and I are up to. So we just got down from our morning hunt here at Blackwater Hunting Service and we're going to actually go and help our buddy Chad recover his deer. So thankfully old Chad is waiting on us to get down there and go look at his deer. I'm beyond excited for him and I bet he cannot wait to go put his hands on that velvet buck. So we're just waiting on our guide to come pick us up and we are headed to Chad and then to breakfast. All right, so we just picked up Evan. Now we're here to get Chad. He's been waiting here all morning to get down and recover his deer. So let's go see what he's got. I don't know how he sit there that long. Either hero or zero. <laughs> I'm not sure what it is. I watched all the footage back and both shots looked good. But I don't know. The first one, I'm real confident I heard him go down right over here. Mm -hmm. The second one, I don't know. The shot looked good. He stumbled when he left. But man, he's big. Did he go back in the same way he came out of the face? Um, no, he, well, he came out the same way he came in. He was facing that way, and he turned and went back in this way. And the first one was just starting to leave out of the thing, and I shot him, and he went that way. And like I said, I was pretty sure I heard him go down. So, essentially one on each side of the road. <laughs> it's not even my deer, and I'm excited. I'm ready to see it. GPS will tell us that it finds a dog, that it will alert me, and the dog will hunt here, and then we'll go in and see if we can go. So check this out. Blackwater Hunting Services has tracking dogs, so they're going to go get Maggie, and they're going to go see if they can find Chad's deer. Mr. Jimmy sent Maggie in to try to look for Chad's deer. Didn't find anything, so we're gonna go back to the lodge, eat, check out the footage, and see what happened. Shells in the gun. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the one I've decided he's worth it. <laughs> See how that deer bear humps up? If you're sitting there, you're going to think he's it. <laughs> uh, swing and a miss number two. Okay, let's let Chad tell us what happened. 
Here we go. Opening morning, uh, I get in the stand and and you got to realize that shooting a velvet deer has been a goal of mine for forever. I get in the stand, they drop me off, and as day's breaking, I can look through the binoculars and I see one solo deer standing in the in the right of way. I um I settled in on him and you know got a good rest, squeezed the trigger, and I would have bet the farm that I had a dead deer. So with the whole group at the lodge watching, I um I air the footage. And unanimously, everybody in the lodge tells me that I missed both deer. This segment of Almost Heaven Outdoors is brought to you by HME, hunting made easy. Boss Buck Feeders, the most versatile and user-friendly feeders on the market. And Ozonics, undetectable, undeniable. Hey guys, I'm Jonathan Kyle with your Mountaineer Insurance Tip of the Week. The first step to having proper protection is to have an agent that understands your needs. As much as we all enjoy getting out in the woods, near the streams, or on the lakes, unfortunately risks and responsibilities go with us. If you're in an ATV accident, having a policy to protect your liability for bodily injury and also the damage to your ATV is critical. Your homeowner's policy does not cover your ATV adequately. We can't choose when an accident will happen, but we can make sure you and your equipment is covered when it does. Thanks for watching the Mountaineer Insurance Tip of the Week. Tune in next week for another tip or check out our website, mountaineerins.com. This is the first evening of the first day of the hunt, and Jimmy told me he was going to put me in the money spot. So this is the first day, and this is our evening set here at Blackwater Hunting Service, and it's a, such a pretty day. It's super hot, though. Of course, I guess for here it's not that hot. It's like in the 80s, so it's cooled down a little bit, which is good for us. And um, we just climbed up here in the stand, and we got two lanes that we can see when the deer filter through. We had a great morning, but poor Jed didn't find his, didn't, well, he didn't hit his deer. This morning he flat out missed, but he went and checked his gun. So all look good now. So we said an extra prayer for Jed. So we're gonna sit here and hopefully we're going to have a velvet book on the ground this evening. And thanks to Thermazel, we're not going to get ate up by mosquitoes. So Chad finally got his gun sighted back in. He has no excuses now. It's the uh, first evening here in South Carolina. Um, this morning's hunt was amazing. I had multiple shootable deer in, in range. As a matter of fact, I took two shots this morning. I have two tags. I thought I filled them both. I thought both shots this morning were spot on. Um, we reviewed the footage. Turns out I missed both deer. Um, took the gun to the range. Gun was shooting low and right. Um, made some adjustments. Got the gun line back in. Everything's shooting good now. So, knock on wood, no excuses this evening. So, if tonight is as good as this morning, hopefully we put a deer on the ground.
So with what happened with Chad, we were a little bit afraid to get too excited, but we were certain Big Bertha did her job. Put the dog on the trail where he went in and it went right to it. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't not even a hundred yards from where Amber shot him. I'd say, what, maybe 70? And it's so thick in here, really, unless he was bleeding like really, really heavy, there's no way I don't think he would have found blood because it's just thick, thick, thick. God, that is awesome. I'm so proud of you. Thanks. I almost cried, but I held him in. <laughs> See? I went from pu almost puking to almost crying.